There have been protests throughout China over the past couple of weeks, protesting against the COVID lockdowns, which are actually still in place. I know that's kind of shocking for most of us, but the latest development is that China has been sending tanks to places where these protests are taking place, including and especially the city of Xuzhou. Major networks seem to want to ignore this story and are covering it minimally, if at all. It's been over 30 years since the Tiananmen Square massacre and we've got tanks back, you know, rolling in to deal with protesters. The Chinese government has been removing statues and memorials throughout uh, Hong Kong where those memorials were actually allowed to exist. In most of China, they weren't even allowed to exist. In other areas of Chinese despotism, you have Cardinal Zen was just convicted by their kangaroo judicial system. This is a, chi this is a country that our economy depends on, that is China. And yet, of course, for electronics and increasingly for textiles, but more importantly for things like our food supply. A large percentage of the preservatives and additives that go inside of our processed foods come from China. And then there's our drug supply, which are also being made in China, including some of the vaccines. The priority of any US administration ought to include reducing our reliance on this despotic and frankly evil regime, but instead key members of our government are actually in bed with China. And that goes all the way to the very top, as is the media over here in the US, as is the healthcare system. You remember, I hope, how COVID is the, the name that we use now, but originally it was the Wuhan coronavirus, which was more descriptive, but it offended the Chinese government. They didn't like it, and therefore it was renamed by the World Health Organization, and every media outlet swung, swung to calling it COVID, and before long, that's what people know it as, so that's now what we have to refer to it as. All to appease China, which is one of the most evil regimes of our day. And again, they're rolling out tanks and our media is ignoring it. I think this is perhaps a, a reminder, and I think we need periodic reminders, about just how bad that regime is and just how reliant we are. I mean, the Chinese government don't have to really fire a shot as long as they control our food and drug supply. And that has to change, and we need pressure on our government officials in order to make that change happen. Wait, don't leave yet. I have more videos for you to watch. One of them is recommended by YouTube, because you know how well it has built a profile of you. Yeah, and the other one's my most recent video so that you haven't already seen. So you can find something that you might enjoy. Also, there are links in the description below that'll help you to support the channel if you're so willing. And really, who doesn't want one of these mugs?